A lover of music and God, tonight friends share their memories of a longtime Christian leader in Knott County. Dick Bowers died early this morning. He served for decades at Camp Nathaniel and Emelina, and as I found out, he made an impact on everyone he met. Dick Bowers never met an instrument he could not play. I don't, I don't know how you, do, how, we, how you would really give it that much credit, as much credit as, as due. I mean, it was just God-given talent and he used it for the Lord. For more than 40 years he used his talents to serve those at Camp Nathaniel and Emelina. He played alongside his late wife Leah, entertaining young people as the camp's music director. But I guess his classic that most people remember him for is the door spring where he took a saxophone mouthpiece and played an ordinary door spring from a hardware store and he could play simple songs with that just by manipulating the, the, sp the spring. He also dedicated his time to Little Car Bible Church, and when he moved to Tennessee with his new bride, Joan, he continued to show God's love at Sedine Bible Camp. The life that he lived, the Christian life that he lived, and he lived it joyfully. It became contagious, his life did. Through the thousands of students whose lives he touched, it's hard to know the true impact of a life like Dick Bowers. But one thing is certain, he leaves behind a legacy. The legacy will be that uh, we would emulate, again, that vivacious personality that always looked for the positive in, in every individual, even those that were struggling. A man who shared his faith through his words and that beloved saxophone. Dick Bowers was 75 years old. Viewing will be held Thursday from 6 to 9 at Heinemann Funeral Services. A funeral will follow Friday at 2.30 at Heinemann First Baptist Church. In lieu of flowers, the family asks donations be made to Little Car Bible Church or Scripture Memory Mountain Mission. We have the address of where to send those donations on our website, wymt.com.